Hey guys, so we have a, a lot to do today. Um, the car has been acting up. My Honda has been overheating. The temp gauge has been shooting up and down when I'm driving. Uh, I noticed it the other day. I think it's the thermostat. So I ordered a new one. I got it in already. We got some coolant, so put that in today, see if it fixes my problem. And my Subaru has also been acting up. It keeps dying. So I've had issues with this battery before. I had to take it in and get it recharged because the light was showing red right here. And now it's doing it again. I got it stuck out on the wash rack and I had to push it back in and then push start it. And it's just been giving me trouble. So I think I'm just gonna replace the battery. That way I don't gotta worry about it anymore. And if that doesn't solve the problem, then I got a whole another technical issue to dive into. And then Skylar also has some stuff going on today. The, the Honda is leaking like a fountain. So I got to put a new uh, oil pan gasket and distributor O-ring so it stops leaking where the camshaft connects to the distributor. And then Troy's car is also getting some stuff like you probably said. And my car also needs the clutch release bearing replaced so we're gonna go grab the uh, engine hoist from my house and then put it on the lift and then start pulling the trans back and place that so I can get ready to go to another track day and then maybe take it to import face off in the next couple weekends. So we'll see, there's a lot going on. Basically, the dailies aren't being dailies. Okay. They're acting up, they're not being good. So, a lot to do. Oh yeah, one more, oh. Also, Skylar got some new wheels and I'm test fitting them on the Subaru. Some RPF ones in black. I think it looks sick. Me set up. I wanted to drive on them yesterday, but the car died. Not good. So if I can get this sorted before Sunday, I'll be taking this back to import face off again. Hopefully. So let's go get a battery. Let's go. Got the battery. Go get this baby slapped in. Hopefully my car starts. If not, we're in for some trouble. Back to the shop. Time to get you out.
see if it starts. As you saw, Troy's car is running good now. I think it looks pretty good with the RPF ones on it. Uh, all right, well, now we're gonna head back to AutoZone, turn the battery and get our core charge back, and then we'll be back here to start working on the Hondas. back to the shop to uh, start on the Honda. Back at the shop, we're gonna pull Troy's Honda in first and get his thermostat and throw some new coolant in it. And then after that, we'll move on to mine, do the oil pan gasket and the distributor o ring. Hopefully, both of our cars will stop acting up and do what they're supposed to do. Looks like a whole car meet out here though. Got the STI, the Honda, the 240, my car. It's pretty fun out here. But let's go! Thermostat is a major pain. It's I had to take off the intake because it sits under here. This bolt, and then there's one other one, not this ground one, but there's one underneath it, and it, the wiring harness sits like right on it. So it's super hard to get off, but we switched it out. I got the new one on, and we'll fill it up with coolant and then see if it fixes my problem. It's orange. This shit, dude. Took the Honda for a test drive. It didn't overheat, so I'm guessing the thermostat worked. Right in the middle of whole drive. We're good. Daily's back to being a daily. Don't recommend putting on a thermostat though. It was, a, it was horrible. They don't. But 
Got it done now. What do you gotta do? Look up how to do this. What is it? What's wrong with yours again? Yeah, do the oil pan. I just did the, I already did the distributor oil ring. It didn't seem like it was even bad, but the fresh one wouldn't hurt, so I just threw it in anyway. So I back my car in and then see if I even want to commit to this journey today. Hmm. We made a mess. I made a mess, sorry. I made a mess. Yeah. All right, time for Skylar's Daily. The coop. Okay, Honda's in the sky. No, this is. I can't see. This is why we're fixing it. The gasket. It's all very drippy. I cleaned this side already a little bit, but it do be dripping everywhere so Troy and I are gonna bust this out real quick and then be done thoughts much easier than I thought it was gonna be to take it out is it gonna be the right gasket yeah it's the right gasket okay thank god Got but it, it was definitely leaking out of the edges I could see the dripping so um Get everything cleaned up, wiped down, um, and then put it back in. Sweet. Easy peasy. Oh yeah, I have it backwards too. <laughs> Going back on. Okay. No more leaky. Hopefully, no more leakies indeed. Skylar got the oil pan back on. The new, the new seal, new gasket. Uh, headers back on. So now she needs to fill it up with the oil. We'll drop it down, get some new oil in it, and then should be done for the day. Can go get some tacos. Tacos. Mostly everything done. Uh, thermostat on my Honda, the hatch, fixed it. It doesn't seem to be overheating now, so I'm guessing that was the problem. So it's all good now. Skyler got his 
Oil changed, they got the oil pan gasket all replaced. Should no more leaking for that, hopefully. Um, didn't get a chance to work on the Subaru. That's another project we'll tackle when we have some more time. It's kind of late. It's almost like eight now. And I also, yeah, I also got the battery for my Subaru, so it's good. Been a good day. I think it has a draw on it, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. So I'll just leave it, the battery unplugged or undone while it's sitting in the shop so it doesn't kill my new battery. But uh, other than that, we're all done for the day. So we'll see you guys in the next video.